Hello, this is Chris from Mr. PLC, and um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a USB SCL9 FX cable um, and communicate with the FX Win software and a an, uh, Mitsubishi FX um, FX PLC. So I'll go ahead and plug my USB cable into my laptop here, and it should find new hardware. And just like any other USB cable, we get the hardware wizard um, that should prompt and ask you for some instruction or guidance here. So we're going to we're going to um, select no to this option and what this means is go it wants to go out to Windows and find the driver. Well in this case we've already downloaded the driver for the USB SCL9 FX cable and actually I'm using um, an older cable so I downloaded this uh, one version here and this is the cable that we're installing USB SCL9 FX. So we've got that downloaded and um, we downloaded it and I unzipped it to a folder called driver so this is what the driver the drivers look like there's no um, install.exe it's basically just a bunch of INI and INF files that are used for USB drivers uh, we just need to unzip that and put it onto a folder and then now we're going to tell um, where these drivers are using this hardware wizard so we'll go ahead and say no to this question and then we're going to select the advanced option. I always like advanced. And then we're going to choose um, search for best driver and then cl in include this location. And we're going to browse to our desktop to the driver folder. And that's that folder right there. And we'll say OK and then hit next. And basically next what's going to happen is we've got a prompt here that says, hey, this driver's not Windows logo tested. Do you want to continue anyway? Yeah, we do. That's OK. For, for this time and it's going to install the first part of this cable um, this is this is the USB side of the cable and then there's actually a second half where it's the serial port emulization that we've got to install so when I click finish here it should find the second half of the driver which was the USB serial port and basically we're going to go through the same exact process as the USB side only for the serial side so we're just going to choose no uh, we're going to click advanced and then browse to our driver folder that we unzipped off of plccables.com and click next and then say OK to the logo running and we're installing the USB serial port side now and this will be the that'll be it as far as the Windows XP is concerned and we should get uh, a good confirmation here your hardware is installed and ready to use and um, now the next thing we need to do is determine what COM port um, the USB installed on. So let's go to my computer um, and then go to control panel and then um, system icon and then next we're going to click on hardware and then device manager. That's really where we really want to go. I really wish Windows would just make a shortcut here to device manager. Um, and then I'm going to click on ports and COM port and you'll notice that the, ser the USB serial port installed on COM5. Now I'm going to show you something that's going to that's a, actually a problem here with the old software. So I'm going to leave uh, Device Manager kind of right there for now, and I'm going to open up FX Win software. This is an older piece of software um, to program Mitsubishi's with, and if I go into PLC Ports here, you'll notice that there's only the COM port selection one through four, and there's no COM five here. So that poses a problem for for us right now because Windows has installed the port on COM5 right here but the software is only compatible to to COM4 so how to fix that is we right click on this um, our USB serial port and click on properties and then go to port settings and advanced and then right here is our COM port assignment for the USB so we're going to remap that to COM2 COM2 is a choice that's available in FX Win, so we're going to tell this, the cable to uh, map to that virtual port instead. And now it won't update right away. We actually have to refresh it. Um, there's not really a refresh button up here, but it, we close it down and then we refresh it. And so we'll have to go back and go back to it if we want to confirm it one more time. Hardware, device manager, ports, and now it's on COM2. So now, now that it's on COM port 2, we're actually ready for the Mitsubishi software at this point. Windows is satisfied. We've got our cable plugged in. We are plugged into our PLC, so we're ready to start the FX Win software. Now, in order to configure FX Win software, we go to PLC ports, we choose COM port 2, and then 9600 in this case, 
we'll say OK, and then we're going to do a program read. And our PLC is an FX0S, is the little brick that we're using. So we're going to say OK to that. It's reading in the program, so we know we must have done something right here. And we'll wait for it to pull the program in, and then uh, we'll do a quick little on mon online monitor test with the software. So we'll do monitor, start monitor, and we get the green bars, and we can see our counters counting in here. We wrote a little program in here just to just to show and demonstrate an FX PLC. So um, that's pretty much it as far as um, walking through the USB side of a USB SC09 FX cable. Um, thanks for watching this little video. This is Chris from Mr. PLC. Thank you.